las cosas hermosas. The beautiful thing about living and working in the Valley of South Texas is really the communities. I was raised in the valley, and I love living here. I work at the Isla Grand Beach Resort on South Padre Island. It's a full-service hotel on the beach, and it's one of the most beautiful beaches here in the U.S. In 2008, we had Hurricane Dolly, and in reality, many of the communities here in the valley were not as prepared as they could have been. The unpredictability and danger of these conditions have encouraged emergency officials to shut down the Queen Isabella Causeway. The valley was not prepared for the hurricane, but the hotel did have a plan. Though it wasn't a big hurricane, it hovered over certain areas for a long time. That's why it caused a lot of damage. The windows in the hotel lobby started to break. It sounded terrible. The wind was very strong. We were in our rooms, praying to God that it would end. Of course, we were scared. I didn't know what else would happen. Hurricane Dolly was the worst in terms of the days we were without electricity and water. The most dangerous thing I saw were cables in the middle of the streets, telephone poles that had fallen, there were roofs that had fallen off of businesses that I didn't expect to see. Before the hurricane, the owner and I met to discuss our emergency plan. We checked with local officials and they told us it was a voluntary evacuation. We wanted our employees to be prepared at home before coming back to work here at the hotel. I went to prepare my house to take care of my wife and three kids who stayed home alone. We boarded up our windows, filled our cars with gas, bought water and canned food. Businesses can make an emergency plan to respond to a disaster and they can also help their employees make an emergency plan. This way, individuals, families, and communities can also prepare. The plan is divided by department. Each director is responsible for his area. When Hurricane Dolly arrived, my plan was to make sure all of the guests were in safe areas where they should have been. Check the emergency lights that we have in the hallways check the generator and the elevators to make sure they were all functioning normally. As part of the plan, we have water and food to last several days. We have medical kits to ensure the safety of our clients. The entire lobby flooded and we had to move people to other areas. We moved the computers and important documents to the second floor of the hotel. It started to smell like something was burning. And we noticed that the windows in front of the elevators had broken and cut a wire. So then we had to turn off the generator and do without it. The damage that Hurricane Dolly caused was tremendous. Broken windows, broken doors, fallen trees, fallen fences. There was a lot of destruction. A hurricane can affect our public health system. The water you're going to drink can be contaminated. Lack of electricity might mean that food isn't refrigerated properly. And it's important that people pay attention to local health and state officials and that they follow their advice in this situation. The next day, we had a meeting to discuss the damage done by the hurricane. We decided to use our employees to begin the reconstruction. We all worked together. The bartender was breaking down walls and painting and people watched him and thought, 
Well, if he can do it, I can too. It inspired people to see someone who had never done it before do it. So we all worked faster. We entered the hotel rooms and saw the work we did. And we felt really proud about how the hotel looks today. The East Le Grand Hotel was the first hotel to open after the hurricane. It took about two and a half months to open back up. Without a plan, we wouldn't have been able to open so quickly. Before each hurricane season, we review the plan. Let's talk about our emergency plan. Let's talk about what we can do better next time. I think everything went very well, with the exception of the tower. There will always be things that you don't anticipate, but I think the plan was really good. What I've learned about preparation at the hotel, I also use at home. It's very important to have a grab-and-go kit. These are the essentials, things like food, water, clothes. Fluorescent lanterns for each common area. Got it right. I learned a lot from Hurricane Dolly, that it's important to have a flashlight, a radio, and batteries. Honestly, I really didn't know you needed all of this, but I learned this here at the hotel. And now I prepare myself. I'm prepared for another hurricane. Not only individuals and families, but also communities need to be prepared with a plan. The better prepared you are, the better you can respond to any kind of emergency. I didn't expect Hurricane Dolly would be as serious as it was, but we responded well. Now we are well prepared for a future hurricane that could come and surprise us again. It's very important that businesses have an emergency plan. You can't ever over-prepare. You just saw how businesses that have a plan in place can weather the crisis and recover more quickly. Whether it's a hurricane, flood, tornado, or man-made disaster, individuals and businesses must be ready to respond and recover from a major catastrophe. That's why it's important to have a plan, to have essential items needed to live through a disaster, and to know how you'll get credible information during a crisis. Make a plan at texasprepares.org. You can also contact emergency management organizations to find out more about the plans available in your area. Your community's recovery depends upon it.